Hey guys, how's it going? It's Michael, and I hope you guys are all doing great. Today guys, I wanted to make a video discussing the future of Resident Evil and my thoughts going forward. Now, Resident Evil is a franchise that I hold dearly to my heart. I grew up playing it with my cousin, and I played it on my own. I went back in the last couple years, and I played Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. I consider those to be one of my favorite games of all time. Um, but lately, as you guys can tell, I haven't really been uploading as much as you guys would want me to. And, and I would want to, obviously. But the fact is, there's nothing really to talk about, you know, besides speculating, discussing rumors and leaks. That's all fine and dandy, you know, and I'm not throwing anyone under the bus when I say that kind of stuff. I'm just saying that there's no future for Resident Evil at the moment. We can all speculate when Resident Evil 4 Remake is going to be coming out. We can all speculate when Resident Evil 8 DLC is coming out. But the truth is, I think Capcom just has way too many projects on their hands and they want to just distance themselves from Resident Evil as a franchise for a little while. I mean, they have a couple series already coming out. The newest Street Fighter, the newest Pragmata, and well, just the other day was discussed dino it wasn't dino crisis it was like a multiplayer game about dinosaurs or something prehistoric something i don't know i'll have it on the screen for you guys but yeah those are the three games that capcom is supposed to be releasing i do imagine that capcom has done a bit of work for resident evil 8 dlc to what we know is pretty much nothing i mean we don't know anything they just announced that they are working on it i mean this goes along for what what else can I name? Resident Evil Reverse also has no release date. It just no we just know it's coming out in 2022 or it might have been canceled. I mean we also know about that Resident Evil Nintendo Switch game that might have been canceled, but it had a little bit of work done on it. Like I said, we literally know nothing but bad breadcrumbs at this point to these series. Now don't get me wrong, I love speculating and I love giving my honest thoughts on a game before it even comes out and what what i think is going to be happening but at this point it's just kind of disappointing because we literally do not know anything about this franchise and its content that is coming now don't get me wrong as a developer i do not understand how game development works and i'm not going to put myself in that but like i mentioned you know, a developer has multiple projects that they are working on at all times. Game development for other games is always happening. I mean, look at Call of Duty. They always have three developers working on each different titles every year. But I think that is going to be changing soon, especially with the, the acquisition that is happening between Xbox and Activision. Especially with the amount of controversy they have been causing. But that's not what I'm discussing in today's video. Now, don't get me wrong, I always will love Resident Evil and it's amazing characters, it's amazing stories, and it's amazing games. But I think this is my like resignation that I'm not gonna be posting as much Resident Evil content as I can. Now, from what I've noticed, Resident Evil is pretty much what's keeping my channel alive, and that's pretty disappointing to say. Um, I'm gonna be trying to get into like Resident Evil and or not Resident Evil, sorry. I'm gonna try getting into Silent Hill and other games, you know, like some things that I do find entertaining. Now, Outlast is one of the projects that I want. Um, I have one more video scheduled to come out uh, tomorrow or one of these days this week for uh, Resident Evil, and that's uh, I'll give you guys a little hint: characters I want returning. That's 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 the only hint. <laughs> but um, I know you know some people always comment to, that they like my videos, and I appreciate y'all. I really do appreciate y'all. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate y'all to the death. But um, you know, as a person, I'm always trying to succeed and you know one up myself, and basically just trying to always go beyond my limits. You know, and I think this is just one thing that I need to do in order to challenge myself. So without further ado guys, I hope you guys definitely did enjoy this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out guys. Enjoy and take care.